As Fatma, a media personality and founder of Wellness KE shares, hormonal imbalance, especially high levels of hormone estrogen, has been linked to endometriosis. What happens in your body as a woman is that you have um, your ovaries that secrete hormones and these hormones are estrogen and progesterone. Now the thing is for women who actually get to suffer from fibroids and endometriosis or other issues like heavy menstrual cycle, usually you have an excess of estrogen that is being released. And if I can put it in simple terms, a hormone is basically just um, a communication to your body. So literally it gets to be secreted by a gland and then it gets into your bloodstream and at the end of it you find a receptor or something that's going to receive what has been sent there and this receptor is actually given a command to do something by your body for instance because excess estrogen can actually cause your body or rather cause disruption to even your DNA it can actually tell that part of the body to either grow bigger, for instance, or to either um, grow tumors, which is what ends up being fibroids, or grow excess tissue on the female cavity, which is what endometriosis really is. This brings forth the need for you as a woman to have your hormone levels checked to avoid imbalance you've probably never really gone to the hospital and, and told your doctor you want to actually get your hormones checked and if you're a woman who is um, uh, between the age of maybe let's say 18 all the way to menopause it means you're in your childbearing years some even sooner than that so because of that I really advise that the next time you go and visit your doctor ask them questions regarding your body and your hormones and when the doctor actually sees that you're interested in finding out more about your hormones he's going to advise you to go to a specialist known as an endocrinologist this person is the one who is going to now carry out this particular test for you for some clinics it's a blood test for others it's a urinalysis or a urine test but they will check your estrogen levels and your progesterone levels and then once you know this then you know maybe probably why you have irregular uh, cycle or you have painful periods or you have you know uh, gray hairs while you're still very young these are some of the symptoms hormonal balance is essential to the body's proper functioning and is directly connected to the food we eat exercise we get the toxins we absorb and the stress levels we put up with this is a very important uh, message that I really want to send out to everyone out there and especially to us women. Diet plays an 80% role in how your body is going to look and feel. So basically, the foods you need to eat need to be fresh foods. Also, you need to make sure that you take cruciferous vegetables, meaning you're eating your broccoli, your cauliflower, your greens. Take these foods because in every part of your meal make sure you have cruciferous vegetables because they're actually going to help you in balancing your estrogen levels so that they are not all over the place and your body is not sent you know out of whack so diet is very important you need to avoid junk food and greasy foods and foods that are actually going to detoxify your body because this is one of the ways that you can actually set off your estrogen levels something else is exercise so exercise doesn't actually have to be fitness like if you're really not into fitness so much don't panic if you're really into dancing and music then listen to music and dance if you really like taking a walk any kind of physical activity is going to be beneficial to you in making sure that you bring you know your estrogen levels um, to a level that is conducive for your body or your organs to function another one is to detoxify your liver because you see your liver is the one that gets to flush out the toxins now if there's too much toxins this is what happens now your estrogen levels are going to go up and your progesterone levels get to go low you make sure that you also stay hydrated and you help your body flush out toxins make sure that you squeeze lemon in your water when you wake up fasting in the morning you drink warm water with lemon this is still going to help you in making sure that you flush out the toxins from your system lack of information about this condition especially in the medical fraternity means one is vulnerable to lack of proper care when they really need it